At only a couple miles away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, we are staying in this beautiful cabin right behind me, Kuono, and I'm gonna be giving you a tour of this place and the beautiful scenery that Hawaii has to offer. So let's go check this place out. We are on the big island of Hawaii once again. This is a very beautiful, beautiful island with a lot of different terrain and beauty that it has to offer. I've enjoyed it very much here and we are here at Kuono, this beautiful cabin right behind me and I highly suggest this place to anybody wanting to visit this national park or big island Hawaii. If you wanna stay here and book this place yourself, the link is down below. Go check that out and come stay in Hawaii. Jeff, the host and owner of this Airbnb is the one that designed this beautiful piece of architecture. According to the guest book, Kuono's exterior was inspired by the modern sea cabins of Nordscott, Norway, and was designed to appear as a modern ship glowing in contrast to the dense Ohia forest. The exterior features of the property fade seamlessly into the boundaries of the site, with a crushed basalt driveway, native landscaping, and outdoor seating areas that were leveled with rock dislodged during foundation preparation. Water to the property supplied by a catchment tent and pump house, screened from view by horizontal cedar lattice. So this place was definitely thought out in its design and build. I really love the style cabin myself. You'll clearly see all the beauty that this place really has to offer whenever you come and stay here for yourself. But this house is almost a tiny house. It feels really large on the inside, but it's right on the verge of being a tiny house and just a small cabin. It's a tiny cabin, I would say. But to start off this tour, let's head inside and see what this place has to offer. You walk through the side door back here and you're immediately greeted by your kitchen space. This is a pretty small space for a kitchen, I would say. So this kitchen has everything you possibly need. It has an oven over here on the left. It has all your coffee needs, some open shelves up above with a microwave, and all of these cabinets have all of your kitchen utensils and everything you would need. And then of course your sink and the window over here on the right side. And right in the middle, they have a bunch of goodies for it. The guests, that's where I got this guest book from, which is highly informational about the house and all the things to do in the surroundings area and they leave some snacks for you as well it is very delicious also a really cool postcard for you to send back home this video is sponsored by trade coffee and it's finally time to step up your coffee game with trade you can discover new coffees from the nation's best roasters trade matches you to your own personal selection of coffee and delivers it right to your door how does this work you may ask well step one take the quiz answer questions about how you like your coffee and trade will curate the best matches for you i have genuinely enjoyed my matches one of them was stay golden this roaster is located in nashville the tasty notes are fig baker's spices and smooth truly incredible step number two is choose your delivery frequency and it will be delivered to your front door at peak freshness every time. And then step number three is to rate your coffee so trade can continue to delight you with your best coffee. If this is something that you've been looking for, be one of the first 100 to click the link in the description and sign up and save 30% off your first bag and free shipping. Just take the quiz and the promotion will apply. Be the first 100 to sign up. Anyway, back to the video. And as we continue along, this door right in front of you is actually your bathroom. This is a very spacious and large bathroom. I love the modern and sleek design in this bathroom that also continues throughout the rest of the home. You have your vanity over here on the right and then your toilet and then on the other side, this gorgeous walk-in shower. And then on the left, you actually have a washer dryer combo, which is super cool and some shelves up above it that house some additional stuff you might need, a couple games and a couple blankets, but this is a very large and modern bathroom. 
and then we'll take a step out of that and then now we enter into the other half of your cabin which is the main part and that is your living space and your bedroom space this place is absolutely massive with the open ceilings it makes it feel a lot larger over here on the left is kind of your living space you have a couch right here that could also be used as a bed it is big enough for somebody to sleep on and you have a coffee table and then you're looking onto your TV area and you have a small dining table for two right here this is a really cozy space I would say and it is perfect for lounging at nights and watching the Mandalorian like what we did <laughs> On the other side is your sleeping space with this huge king size bed right in the middle. I love the wood bed frame this has that matches the nightstands on each side which are very handy to have. And there's a closet over here as well to store all of your stuff. The ceiling fan up above is really beautiful as well. And then the main aspect of this area I would say is this whole wall of windows that overlooks your outdoor patio area, your lanai, and then all the beautiful trees that are right in front of your cabin. Uh, this huge sliding door lets you outside into that area. Biggest sliding door I've ever seen. There's also a screen for it as well, so if you want to let the breeze go in. I think we're about 3,000 feet elevation. I could be wrong about that, but somewhere around there. So it's not as hot as the beachside areas, I would say. So it's really nice to have a breeze coming in and out. There's also blinds on these windows for you to cover up at night. So let's take a step outside on your patio area. Whenever you walk out the sliding door, you just feel like you're in your own world. Starting here on the left side, which is probably one of my favorite parts, is this hot tub right here. It seats two perfectly, and it is absolute delight being in the hot tub with everything surrounded by you in Hawaii at this cabin. Over here on the right side, you have a couple seating options, and then you can also turn this dial right here that automatically turns on your outdoor fireplace out here with a couple logs seats around it. This makes the space super cozy. You can sit out here in the evenings by the fire or in the hot tub and have the fire going and it is just really really nice to be out here. All of the wood around this patio is beautiful as well. It just makes this more of a cabin feel and adds more coziness along with the fire. Like the guest book said the landscaping is beautiful. I love the foundation built all around this. It really blends in with the home. I love the dark aspect of it all and this just all comes together really nicely. Now like I said, you are only a couple miles away from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, so you can go there and really experience what that has to offer and visit a national park in Hawaii. There's also black sand beaches around and you just can't go wrong with staying here. So thank you Jeff for letting me stay here and show off your beautiful piece of architecture right here. And if you wanna book this place and come check it out for yourself, the link is down below. Also, get some new homies merch and guys, I will see you next week with another video.